Ants, like many insects, can be vulnerable to various forms of poison, which can affect them in multiple ways depending on the type of toxin used. Understanding how ants die from poison involves examining their physiology, social behavior, and the specific mechanisms of different poisons. When an ant encounters poison, several factors determine how it affects them. One common way ants ingest poison is through bait traps. These traps are designed to attract ants with a palatable substance mixed with a toxic agent. The poison can act either on contact or through ingestion. When ants feed on the bait, they consume the poison, which begins its lethal journey through their bodies. Some poisons, such as boric acid, disrupt the ant's digestive system. Upon ingestion, boric acid interferes with the digestive enzymes and metabolism of the ant, leading to starvation. The ant's inability to properly process food causes it to weaken and eventually die from lack of nutrients. Another method of poisoning involves neurotoxins, which target the nervous system of the ants. Neurotoxic substances, such as pyrethroids or organophosphates, disrupt normal nerve function by interfering with neurotransmitters. When these toxins are absorbed through the ant's exoskeleton or ingested, they block or overstimulate the transmission of nerve impulses. This leads to paralysis, as the ant loses control over its muscles. The effects of neurotoxins are often rapid, causing ants to exhibit abnormal behavior, such as uncoordinated movements or convulsions, before succumbing to paralysis and eventually death. Some poisons are designed to have delayed effects, allowing poisoned ants to return to their colony and spread the toxin to other members. This method exploits the social nature of ants, particularly their habit of trophallaxis, where they share food with one another. Ingested poison can be regurgitated and fed to other ants, including the queen and larvae. This is particularly effective because it allows the poison to reach critical members of the colony, thereby collapsing the social structure and ultimately leading to the death of the entire colony. Slow-acting poisons are often designed to mimic the chemical compounds found in an ant's natural diet, making them more likely to be accepted and shared among colony members. In addition to ingestion, contact poisons can also be effective. These are applied to surfaces where ants are likely to travel. When ants walk across these surfaces, they pick up the poison on their legs and bodies. The poison can then be absorbed through their cuticle, the outer protective layer of their exoskeleton. From there, the toxins can enter the ant's hemolymph, the equivalent of blood in insects, and be transported throughout the body. The absorption through the cuticle can be particularly effective with lipophilic substances, which easily penetrate the waxy outer layer of the exoskeleton. Once inside, these substances can disrupt cellular functions or interfere with vital physiological processes, leading to death. The effectiveness of a poison can also depend on its ability to exploit specific weaknesses in the ant's biology. For instance, Certain fungal pathogens are used as biological control agents against ants. These fungi produce spores that attach to the ant's exoskeleton and germinate, penetrating the cuticle and growing inside the ant's body. As the fungus proliferates, it consumes the ant from the inside out, eventually killing it. The infected ant can also spread the fungal spores to other colony members, perpetuating the cycle of infection. In addition to these physiological and biochemical mechanisms, the social structure of an ant colony can also influence the effectiveness of poison. Ant colonies are highly organized, with a division of labor among workers, soldiers, and reproductive members. The death of worker ants, who are responsible for foraging and caring for the brood, can cripple the colony's ability to sustain itself. Similarly, if the queen is poisoned, the colony's reproductive capacity is compromised, leading to its eventual collapse. The queen's central role in the colony's reproduction makes her a critical target for poisons. Some poisons are specifically designed to be carried back to the nest and fed to the queen, ensuring her demise. Ants die from poison through a variety of mechanisms, depending on the type of toxin used. Poisons can disrupt digestive processes, 
interfere with nerve function, exploit the social behavior of ants, and affect their endocrine system. The effectiveness of poison is influenced by factors such as the method of delivery, the specific vulnerabilities of the ant species, and the social structure of the colony. While poisons can be a powerful tool in controlling ant populations, they must be used responsibly to minimize harm to non-target species and prevent the development of resistance. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.